Welcome back, viewers. Um, first of all, my apologies. Um, right at the beginning today, we had a little technical issue there where I was actually one of the cameras didn't focus rightly on me. So sorry about that. And we're coming back to John again, and uh, we're going to come on to the books. John actually has written uh, some interesting stuff there. Okay, John. Um, we were just finishing off about um, what you say, uh, what you think about people trading. Uh, you know, people who think it's easy to trade. Uh, you were finishing. Well, off I think I think it's, it's, it's an impression that um, some adverts do do give that impression that it's easy to, easy to do. Um, it is easier if you have a system. I, I'm, I'm sorry to keep repeating this, but I think, I think a system is quite important really for, for people who are starting up because then it is actually quite simple. You know what to do. Um, but there's a lot of emotional stuff, which, um, mm. and as I, mean, I mentioned the sort of miser scenario. You know, I mean, it, the guy would just freak out, <laughs> risk, money, risk money if he were a miser. And there's yeah. a, lot of, a lot of personal stuff which um, the markets amplify. So it's, it's, like a, um, it's, it's like a therapy course. Mm. <laughs> I've the also markets. found that uh, when you're looking for different types of uh, companies who teach these. And a lot of these companies, they have traders who haven't even traded themselves and promoting teaching and training. Yeah, it's, it's quite, it's quite dangerous. dangerous in a way. There's, there's, there's a lot of people who, I mean, you know, it's one of these truisms that if you know 10% more than your audience, they'll think you're an expert. And it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's the markets, nobody knows. You know, I, I mean, I, I get a bit annoyed with regulation sometimes because somebody makes a market call and the regulators don't care about the call. They care about who, you know, whether the guy's regulated or not. But you know, the people in the industry get it wrong or as often as people who aren't regulated. And it, it's quite a strange situation, really. It, it's, um, okay. uh, <coughs> because it's, it's not actually about, you, know, you, you can't really regulate for, for good market calls or good market trading. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, not, it, it's a skill beyond yeah. regula <laughs> regulation, I think. Yeah, it's like, I understand. Yeah. Um, one of the questions is, obviously, um, we want our audience to understand you know, the risks and the consequences and the good stuff that can come out of trading from home and learning to trade for a living. Uh, what's your recommendation and how would you say is the best way forward? Starting up. To start well, yeah, up. I, I think a simple system, I mean, it doesn't have to be crowd gap, but a simple system just, just gets, sets, sets the scene for, for trading and, and gives mm. you a few basic rules, which, which, which uh, I mean, in my book, The Way to Trade, the first book I wrote in 1998, <coughs> was commissioned by the Financial Times at, at the time. And you know, it sets out all the basics. It sets out all, all the various rules you mm. need to uh, take into account. There's a model called the trading pyramid, which, which you need to model to make to make money. Um, and none of the stuff is very complicated, but you do need to be aware of it. Um, and too many people just come into the market, and what they do is sort of typical human emotion stuff. They um, they put let's say, let's say they buy something at ten pounds a point or something, um, and think it ahead three or four points and, and they say, oh, 40 quid, I'll grab that. <laughs> they, take, they take the 40 quid, because we, we're used to having, you know, we're used to getting mm. the good stuff and grabbing it. Um, but it goes the wrong way and it's down 50 quid. They think, oh my God, I don't like that. And they just walk away and, you know, yeah. off they go somewhere and they think, well, I'll just hide away from it because uh, they don't, don't want to accept it. They think, well, it's only on paper, blah, blah. <coughs> Next day, it's 100 pounds down. And, okay. and the same, it, it, it's a continual process. They, they just can't take the loss. But and, and when there's a profit, they grab it too quickly. And so it's very important to let your profit uh, profit run. You got to, yeah, you got to. I mean, yeah. th there's there's a period traders go through where they actually understand. I mean, the first phase is they get they see a big loss um, because they, they can't take the losses and they just let the thing run. Don't know about stops. Um, so that's the first phase. Second phase is they've gone through that first phase. <coughs> they get a bit frightened and they 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 keep grabbing little profits and keep keeping stops too tight, and they're just spinning the wheels. And, mm. and you had to get out of that rut as well. And, and those tend to be the, f the sort of two, mm. two milestones, if you like, in, in a trader's career. I mean, the first milestone is realizing it is actually quite difficult. And it is hard work to an extent. And many people just give up at that point because it wasn't what they signed up for, really. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, so it's like very business. important, I, I believe, is to get the adequate training and um, learning the systems and everything before you actually step into the yep. world of trading. I mean, with CrowdGap is an 11 module course. You get the course as part of the package. It's amazing, you know. I've seen it and yeah. I, I, could, I, could, I could vouch for that, you know. I could tell you it's very easily laid out, very simply laid out. So it's something I, to. I had help with that, I must really say. I got, I got some off. professional into actually make it nice and, nice and simple and clear because I wanted mm. it to be. I, I mean, it's not, it's not just because I wanted it to be clear and, 
people to understand it, understand it easily, but that way I get far more, far less emails saying, I don't understand this. Exactly, yeah. mm. So it's, it's, it's a sort of win-win all around. It's amazing, all the answers are there really, you know, there isn't many questions if you follow it really correctly. Yeah, well correctly. that's right. right. Yeah, I, do enjoy, I did enjoy that. Um, and I've uh, obvious, uh, uh, obviously seen a couple of your books as well. Um, quite interesting. Now, coming on to the books, um, just before I go into that, I want to know a bit more of your bad experience. What was your worst experience uh, in the world of trading? Um, well, what stands out is the 87 crash, um, because it was in my first few months. I started in April, 87. And um, yeah, the 87 crash was... was it, Elliott Wave Theory gave a perfect call for that market. Okay. Um, and, but I was a very inexperienced trader. I'd been trading three months at that point. So, so I, was, I had 600 pounds a point running before the crash. Uh, 600 pounds a point? Yeah, wow. I, I would have been, if I'd just gone into a coma for a week, mm. yeah, it, would have, it would have been, I think, half a million pounds or something. It, it, was, it would have yeah. been, it would have been, I, I, unfortunately, I did, well, it was a good thing. <laughs> whether, it was a good thing or not, whether it was a good thing or not, I didn't go into a coma. <coughs> I, the day before the crash, the day before the hurricane, actually, I closed two thirds of my position because I, I, it looked like there'd be a bit of a blip up. I, I'll, I'll take some profit on this. Peanuts, yeah. The next day, the, hur the hurricane blew Hyde Park. There was a hurricane in, in London on the, I think it was the 15th of October. Okay. Uh, uh, I actually had to walk. I was living in Belgrave, Belgravia and I walked across Hyde Park to my office in Marylebone. Um, and all these trees, you know, <laughs> it's just, uh, you had to walk around all these huge trees that had been blown over in the crash. Um, well, not the crash, but the hurricane. Um, and, and it closed the exchanges. They all cl I couldn't reopen my positions because they were... You know, so I think I traded IG that day, in fact. Uh, anyway, on the day of the, cr the crash happened the following Monday. <coughs> and uh, I still had 200 pounds a point running. But I closed it at the first hour. I made 20 grand, which in that, in that day was pretty good. Okay. But after that, the whole thing became, I mean, I was just totally uh, unused. <laughs> kind of had a 600 point move. I was, I was selling puts into that, which is a, a huge price, huge premiums. Mm. Um, so that was, that was quite unpleasant. I mean, it was unpleasant. It was certainly an experience. <laughs> it was a certainly an experience. I mean, now you trade. I mean, do you share your trades with your... Uh, with people who are members yeah, of your Yeah, I have a, a service called the Big Call Service. Um, and you know, right now we're we're long of gold. We've been long of gold for a few months. We, we caught we caught the latest rally. <coughs> uh, I'm riding the current um, decline. I, mean, I, I don't know exactly what my my um, subscribers do, what they how they trade is up to them. I don't tell them what to do. I I, I tell them what I'm doing, and that they, they make the oh, you share your decisions. Yeah, decisions. yeah. Um, uh, and and we, I mean, I run an option service. Uh, we're short of some calls on on the DAX at the moment. Uh, okay. Okay, um, I believe you're writing books. What made you write your first book? Um, <coughs> well, the FT Commission, I, I, was writing, I was writing my newsletter, The, the Technical Trader, started in 89, um, and I, I, every month I used to do a, an article, a special feature. Mm. Um, the FT came along and said, uh, we'd like you to write a book, and so I, I just put them all together and, and added quite a lot of, lot of other material and, and produced The Way to Trade. And uh, uh, what, what I liked about it was that it, it struck a chord with traders, because um, somebody reading the book knew immediately that I, I was a trader, just because what I was talking about. <coughs> but people who weren't traders didn't really understand it very much, no, because, yeah, <coughs> because you have to actually trade. It's, it's, it's an experiential thing. You have to actually do it to understand how it works, really. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, it was very well received. I was, I was very pleased with, with the response. Mm, I, can, I, can, I can see here, um, I've done some research on you. I've see, I can see here, we've got some big people in the industry actually writing one of the most intelligent books in trading literature. And that was said mm -hmm. by uh, a president of Trading on Target, Traders Coach. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we've had author of Trading <coughs> for a Living, Dr. Alexander Alder, An Essential Lesson Most Never Get. These are from reading your books in a thought-provoking book author of forecasting financial markets. So these are big players that are actually writing about your books. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was well received. And it was, it's now in Chinese, much? it's in Chinese, yeah. Russian, and uh, um, German, in fact. It might be an Indian version, I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, I, thought, I thought there was an Indian version. Anyway, it, it's, it's been, yeah, it's been, we, we, we've sold a lot of copies and it's, it's been well read and I get a lot of good feedback. So, yeah. What's your latest book? Well, I've got it here, in fact. It's called The Way to Trade Better. I don't know if you can see that, mm. see that book. Um, and uh, this is a sequel actually to The Way to Trade. Uh, it's just okay. come out in the last few few months. Um, and it, uh, <coughs> The Way to Trade was subtitled Discover Your Successful Trading Personality. Um, and, and my view is you can't just say, as a lot of books do say, here's what you're going to do, trade this way. 
<coughs> I think you need to develop a system that, that suits you. And so somebody buys Krautgau, for example, um, the people who I think do the best with it make it their own. They, they just vary it slightly, they just trade it in a way that suits them, so it suits their personality. And I think that's quite an important step in, in any, any system trading. Um, the, <coughs> the way to trade better is, is transforming your trading into a successful business. Okay. So it, yeah. it, it's, it's, a, it's a step further away from discovering your successful trading personality. Mm, I think it's an essential read, that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for saying yeah, so. I've heard a lot about that book already, to be honest, um, yeah. before I got in touch with you recently. I've heard a lot about the book, and that's one of the reasons why I've, I felt like, you know, I should invite you into the show, talk uh, a bit more about trading, tell our viewers, because I have a lot of viewers who's interested in getting into the industry, because uh, I get a lot of emails, and one of the reasons why we've done trading for a living again. Um, <laughs> Now, what do you say to people who say, why you bother with books, selling systems, and the basic business stuff, <laughs> uh, um, when you know how to make money from trading? I think it's, evolu I think it's just, just a process of evolution. I think we, we're all here to evolve to an extent, to, to, make the, to do what we want to do, to, to, to make the most of ourselves. Um, and I mean, I, I, I point at Apple, Apple Core. I mean, they had, they've got the iPod, so why should they, why they developed the iPad? I mean, <laughs> mm. it's the same thing, yeah, because they want to evolve. And it's, it's a lot more fun trading by yourself, as I do, as most traders do. Um, it doesn't take, actually take very long. I mean, an hour a day maximum. Mm. So there's a lot of time spent you know, when you do something which is actually, frankly, more interesting. I mean, I like working with other traders. Nothing gives me more pleasure than when somebody succeeds. It's, it's really you know, helping other people is, is what life is about, really, I think. Yeah. Um, mm. Ultimately, Everything. I mean, business is, is all about personal relationships with, with, with your clients, whatever else. Um, and you know, it's, it's what what makes life good. I think. It's, uh, so so yeah, it, it, it's uh, I mean, it's a question many people ask. But if they were themselves in business, uh, and if they were if they were evolving, I'm not trying to say they're not evolving, but some people do get stuck in ruts. Yeah, yeah. Um, they wouldn't ask the question because it's it's what life is about. I think. Really. Yeah. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, another question in regards to um, getting involved in trading. People need to know there's different types of trading. Uh, could you talk, uh, tell us about a few different types of trading? Uh, you know, there's things like day trading, swing <laughs> trading. You know, yeah, there are a huge amount of them. Spread huge trading. trading. Um, hmm. it, it, it depends on. I mean, first you have to try them really to see what they're all about. Uh, I mean, if, if, if you're trading, day trading, then every day you'll be taking a trade probably, or maybe more than one trade. That can be quite tough to find, find good trades in that shorter time frame. Uh, I prefer the longer time frames because I, I, I like to see moves develop and I like to see big moves come in. Um, and, and the big core service has caught some you know, big moves over mm. the years. I mean, I mentioned the Nikkei and gold and hopefully gold again now. Uh, and and in, in, I mean, I wrote, my book, Financial Catastrophe of Now in 2006. Um, and I, I rather rushed it out because I could see we were about to have a massive fall, which we did in 2007, of course. Um, and in my book, Binding Trading, I went through the bear campaigns I did mm -hmm. during those years, and, and there were some incredible trades. I mean, there just, just, you know, there were some fantastic moves coming through. And I, I do like those big moves. You know, it, it's, uh, um, I mean, first, they're very profitable, of course, but it's quite satisfying to get something that's dramatic. And, and also, you help people. I mean, you help people. <coughs> when you get the kind of cataclysmic move in the markets, um, you um, and, and you can warn people about those, then they they can help themselves. I mean, I I remember actually in 2000, just as I was writing the book in 2006, I was getting a taxi ride from Dorking Station. I lived in Dorking at the time in, in Surrey, and uh, and this guy almost threw me out of his taxi because he was talking about property. Okay. And I was saying, well, you know, it's not you know, property's okay. going down. We we'll have to come back to you again from okay. the, uh, yeah. there. We're going to just go back to a break, viewers. Yeah. Stay tuned in, please. See you after the break. <laughs>